In this video, we'll learn about the Vegan Warrior Workout Plan. Getting and becoming active can be difficult for many people no matter the diet they take on. A lack of motivation, morbid obesity, time restraints, and other issues make it very easy for people to either not have the time or not find the energy to become motivated to move. Each person has a unique case and there's no single solution that fits everyone. However, if you have chosen to adopt a vegan diet, then you have already taken one step in the right direction for the health of your body for the long term. This means the next major step is going to be figuring out what sort of workout plan you want to utilize. A very common way for beginners to start exercising is to take an easy start. This usually means going outside and walking for short 10-minute bursts or taking the plunge to get that gym membership and going and walking on a treadmill for 15 minutes. For people who want to do some sort of muscle training, you can do particular exercises within the comfort of your own home. Another important facet is to keep motivated during your exercising. The most popular way to keep motivated is via music. But you can also utilize television in order to help you develop the habit of regular exercise. The whole point of beginning an exercise journey on a vegan diet is making sure to ingrain the habit. In order to complete your path in the journey towards better health, you have to choose some sort of workout plan. This will be a plan that you follow week by week that can be easily tailored upwards as your body becomes more efficient in utilizing its energy and becomes generally stronger. Even though you're eating a vegan lifestyle, all of your muscle groups in some way need to be exercised. This includes your abdomen, your thighs, and all the muscles in your back and arms. Simply doing nothing but cardio is not going to make you stronger, and it's not an efficient use of the calories you are giving your body. One of the things people have to keep in mind when exercising on a vegan diet is that you're going to have to feed your body more in order to keep up your energy. Traditional eaters consume massive amounts of protein indicative to the size of their workout program because protein from animal sources stays in the body longer. This means that an individual who eats meat and animal byproducts could go to a restaurant and have a nice meal, then still have that fuel two hours later when they decide to go to the gym. Vegans do not have that kind of convenience. Because plant-based sources of protein are not as easily absorbed into the body, nor are they held onto for as long as meat-based sources of protein, this means that some sort of energy has to be given to the body within 30 minutes of the exercise you choose to do. Not only that, but you usually have to replenish that store of energy after you work out. This does not mean you have to eat an entire meal before and after your workout. This simply means that a snack, a juice, or a shake of some sort should be ingested 30 minutes before and no later than 30 minutes after your workout. Cardio is an imperative part of a workout regimen for a vegan because it will help to keep your blood sugar levels at bay with the amount of carbohydrates you take in on this type of diet. The thing about a vegan diet is that even though it eliminates food groups, it does not designate a specific amount of caloric or carbohydrate intake that has to be eaten throughout the day. So cardio and all of its offshoots are going to help an individual regulate their blood sugars when trying to figure out the appropriate caloric intake for their body. Things like 15-minute walks outside, 15-minute walks on the treadmill, 30 minutes of swimming, cycling classes, and even yoga tapes you can do in the comfort of your own home all count as legitimate sources of cardio you should be implementing at least three times a week. Strength training for your muscles and your bones also need to be incorporated into your workout, and it should be anywhere between 30 and 45 minutes each time you go to do it. The reason you don't want to go over 45 minutes is because it can be over-exhausting to the muscle groups you're working, and it can cause damage that will keep you from exercising. You do not want to hit all of the muscle groups more than twice a week because this will also ensure that you keep an even muscle development over all the muscles of your body without overworking and hurting yourself. For those of you who are just beginning their strength training, you can do simple weightlifting in the comfort of your own home. You can also do body weight squats and calf raises to work the lower half of your body. 
Things like push-ups and sit-ups will work your arms and your upper back as well as your abdomen. And planks are a really good way to engage every single muscle of your body. And they can all be done in the comfort of your own home. Strength training is a little more fluid in how often to implement it throughout the week because it's less tailored to the number of times you simply do it and more tailored to the number of times you've worked out a specific group of your body. Remember, during the week for strength training, you have to make sure you work every muscle of your body twice. Whether you situate it so you are strength training every day or whether you situate it so you are strength training three times a week, it doesn't matter. What matters is the length of time you strength train and the duration you touch on those major muscle groups every week. There are other ways you can incorporate working out into your lifestyle that are less traditional and more convenient to familial lifestyles. Sports, climbing a tree with your kids or your family, gymnastics, and resistance bands are all wonderful ways to enhance your workout plan without stepping into a gym. There are also certain classes you could take out in the community that have the potential to get you around many other like-minded individuals, such as martial arts and kickboxing. These avenues are great because they do not only incorporate cardio and strength training, but they also enhance the strength of your bones. Now it's time for the most important part of the course. Up until this point, you have merely been fed information. You've been instructed on the guidelines that eating a vegan diet affords. You have been instructed on the types of exercising you can implement, and you've even witnessed us debunk multiple myths that come with the vegan diet that have been misinterpreted and perpetuated by society. It is now time to go over how to correctly and safely implement this change in your life so you have the greatest chance of succeeding. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.